Okay, Star Drop back for more Final Fantasy X-2. We left off last time deep in the underground of Bevel. And we're, we're here to see uh, what new what new Yevon's up to. Obviously no good, but let's check this out. Yeah, just jump down the bottomless pit. pit. Should at least carry a parachute or something. That's a pretty deep drop. Alright, so we arrived at another strange place. You can move around, explore the area even though there isn't much to explore. Um, there's this thing here. Yeah, so it tells you that you have to disable the security thing first, which is fine. Um, the LeBlanc Syndicate joins, although they're pretty much useless as always, but at least we don't have to fight them this time. <laughs> okay, so to proceed, just come here. Oh, I really like this music. Watch the exit. I don't take orders. Quiet you. But I'll make an exception this time. Leave it to us, love. <laughs> That's right. Watch the exit. Okay, so walk up here and you'll just jump down. Do the epic chain slide. Nowhere near as epic as the one from uh, Final Fantasy X, but you know, this time it's Yuna sliding as opposed to the other six. So, we'll be forced into a fight right as we get down. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, just take care of him quickly. Oh, do they absorb thunder damage? I don't remember. Nope. Okay. Good. Pretty effective, actually. Ow, that hurt. Yes. Oh, I'm attacking that one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, attacking from behind is very, very effective. That's why I consider teleport one of the best skills in the game. Alright, so Pain Learned Chemist, pretty cool. It doubles the effectiveness of healing items. So now if you throw a potion, instead of healing 200, it'll heal 400. Not your stashes though. If you stash potions, it still, it still heals 200. It only heal uh, double if you use it right out of your inventory. Let's finish this thing off. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Took a hit. That's alright, it's down. Get some experience, and let's check out our ability for pain. Now that we have chemist, we're gonna move on to high potion because it is good. Uh, may as well just heal up. 
lots of potions. Okay, so for this part, you will be at this area with a bunch of towers. And you're going to want to follow my instructions exactly to get what we want. And that is a trophy for obtaining the treasure in this place. So, of course, you can figure out the puzzles by yourself, but why do that when you have a guide, right? <laughs> so first you want to do is come up to the tower. Uh, you'll be thrown into a battle as soon as you touch one of these towers. And depending on the tower you touch, the battles will be different. So for this one, we get to fight one of these, the uh, the boss for chapter one. Yeah, I'm just tossing these weak potions because I need AP. Hey, look over here. Turn your back to Riku. Damn it. Ow. Mina's getting hurt. Just will not stand. Now because we have the items level 2 ability, we can throw potions a lot faster. And because we have chemists, the, their, effectiv their effectiveness doubles. Alright, nice chunk of money. And you'll see a platform just come out from there. Okay, so security 103 disabled. And let's just move on after we heal up a little bit. So... Next up, we want to skip this tower here, and we're going counterclockwise. Skip this tower and go to the next tower. And just touch it. You fight the same guy again. Alright. Focus. Let's try out some new attacks. Let's see if telekinesis works on this guy. Because that's an instant kill. Not much fun, but at least it take care of it takes care of him quickly. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Just like that, and you gonna learn Fire Rock, cool. Okay, so now we have another platform. Moving on. So you wanna skip this one and go on to the next. Okay, so for this one, you're going to buy a different boss. This guy can be semi-challenging because he likes to inflict, uh, I think it was doom or death, I don't know. One of those, and yeah. Uh, so first up, let's see if I can uh, teleport behind him. Sometimes you can't with certain enemies, but yeah, there we go. Right, let's just... Demi takes off a quarter of your eighth. It's either an eighth or a quarter of your party's HP. But we got Yuna with her black magic right now, so should be. I mean, drain drains like minuscule amount of HP. So unless he uses death or some move like that, it shouldn't be too tough. So focus to raise our magic attack and. Please spells are costing a lot of MP because we're using that um, magic booster accessory. So he likes to throw a lot of uh, demis around. Just keep up the attack. It would help tremendously if you had some third tier, uh, third tier black magic. But 
we deal with what we have. Toss some potions. And he's down. So, this guy actually gives some very decent experience. And uh, you can actually stay here and farm him if you'd like, and I'll show you how. And we get a region mango too, cool. Um, okay, so by killing him we get the third platform we can actually proceed on um, now and just go on with the story. But, we want to get our accessory, the ribbon that is, for our um, trophy. And might as well get it for the ribbon accessory too, because ribbon is pretty cool. So up next, we just defeated this tower here, so moving on to this tower now. And just touch it. Alright, so you see a little animation with the tower. And going to a fight. Same dude, you can just get rid of him with a telekinesis. Which is what I'm gonna do. Because I can't be bothered. <laughs> Go away. Alright, and we can learn time trip. Pretty cool ability. It it has stop on everyone except for the user. Now, no enemy in this entire game can resist that stop. But it only lasts like 10 seconds, so we gotta use it carefully. Um, anyways, let's heal up the MP. And let's take a look at abilities again for Yuna. And now I gotta learn Bazaar. I actually want Black Magic level 3. Alright, so after we touch that... We gotta come here to this tower. And, yep, fight this guy again. And we need to fight this guy now four times. That's four times. So, after you fight this guy four times, I'm, not, I'm gonna cut this out because, you know, four times is a lot. But remember, you need to fight this four times. Count them as you go. And we'll see you after I fight this guy four times. Okay, so after you kill that guy four times, uh, these platforms should be nicely lined up now. The way you kill them four times, by the way, is just keep on walking up to the towers and, and fighting it. Uh, let's see. Okay, we don't need any healing. Anyways, moving on. Keep on going counterclockwise and touch this tower right here. The one right next to uh, the one where we just fought Precept Guard four times. So now we activated this tower. And we've actually changed the way the platforms will move. And also it's a battle. With our little golem friend once again. Mm. Alright, so after that one, another platform comes out. And now we want to go back to that one where we just fought Precepts Guard four times. Right? And now we fight it. Well, touch it. And we need to fight the enemy twice. So, I'll be back after I fight this thing two more times. Okay, so um, the second time we fight this guy, like, over here, if you've been following my guide, he should be oversouling. And, um, oversoul version, not a lot harder, but he does have more HP. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll show this fight, because I guess it's kind of different. And also, Pain learned High Potion, which is really cool. So with Oversoul, he likes to use melee attacks instead of his um, classic Demi, Osmos, Drain, and that kind of stuff. And he just killed Yuna. Not cool, man. Not cool. There we go. 
I uh, love how fast Alchemist can use items. It's so cool. <laughs> Alright, let's test out this time trip ability. As I said, not a single boss can resist it. Nothing in this game. It's just, it's just a time stop for everyone but you. The user, I mean. There we go. And now you can just attack him for 10 seconds. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, time will count down even in wait mode, so make your decisions quick. This is a pretty cool ability. Obviously, uh, telekinesis doesn't work on this guy, otherwise we can kill him really quickly. <laughs> Why do you have so much HP? Oh boy, Blizzard. Come on, come on. Out of MP, we can absorb some MP from him. He has plenty to spare. Uh... <laughs> yeah. There we go, still 72 MP, and let's continue casting Fire Off. Come on man, how much MP you got? I mean, how much HP you got? <laughs> there we go, he's down. Alright, a lot of experience from that guy when he oversouls. Okay, so now that we've fought him twice, that platform should move over there to the second entrance. And now, we keep on walking clockwise, instead of counterclockwise. Skip this one. Skip this one. And come here to this one. Touch it. And a new enemy appears. So, this guy is mostly elemental. If you have a white mage with a reflect, this guy is a complete joke. If you don't, he's still not too hard, but. He'll, he might cause a little bit of problems with his high damage. Did I say high damage? I meant mediocre damage. <laughs> yeah. Actually a lot easier than um, Precepts Guard. Alright, there he goes. Some experience, very nice. And this should bring out, out another platform, cool. Okay, now I'll walk down. Let's heal up some MP here. Almost out of ethers, but we still have turbo ethers. Down to this one and touch. Now we'll be fighting him again, and what we want to do is fight him three times at this tower right here. So touch the tower three times, and I'll see you when I have killed this thing three more times. Uh, 
Alright guys, we're back after fighting this guy three times. And as you can see, all the little platforms are now lined up perfectly. Cool. Yeah, you can you can see from here. Alright, now it's just to uh, get down there. Whoops. Alright, so jump. You don't even need to press circle here. <laughs> Unit jumps automatically. And head into this. And there's a chest at the end here. Pick that up. And we get the ribbon accessory. And trophy. Alright, we'll oh, pop anytime. Anyways. Um, yeah. There we go. Treasure hunter. We can actually equip that ribbon. R ribbon is really cool. Prevents all kinds of status ailments. Let's. Uh. Max HP of 60%. Okay. Mm Generate this. Yeah, let's take this thing off. We don't need it. Let's add ribbon to our alchemist. By the way, alchemist, our alchemist now should be learning one of the best abilities in this game. And that would be. Mega Potion. So good. 2000 heal to all your party members. And you have infinite of them when you learn it, so pretty damn sweet so anyways I don't want to go back yet I mean I don't want to keep on going yet and I recommend this but it's not absolutely necessary what you want to do is you want to go back to the tower where you were fighting that um, I don't even remember what it's called I think that spams magic on you that you just fought three times and you want to keep on fighting him until you can kill his oversoul version why because you can't fight that enemy anywhere else in this game and um, we want to keep on fighting until over souls because there we go. He's already over souls, so it's all cool. Because um, you don't want to come back. You could come back here later on in the game, but you don't want to. And since we have to kill one of every oversold enemy for a trophy, anyways, we might as well get it done right now. And also, it's a nice chunk of experience. So he's a little bit more powerful in over soul, but still shouldn't pose too big of a problem. As long as you uh, heal up when you have to. Yeah. <laughs> He's just choking on his, all his melee attacks for some reason. You're a magic user, man. Stop using physical attacks. Ooh, almost killed Yuna. Alright, learned black magic level 3. Now we're casting black magic a lot faster. Sixteen hundred experience, get some nice level ups. And yeah, you're moving the platform, but now that we have the treasure, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Just make sure you don't like... No, no, th there's nothing you can do that messes up from here, so it's all good. And let's see here. Yuna, you should be learning... Uh, yeah, I don't care about the tier 2 spells for now. Let's just learn Fire Aga because I want <laughs> a tier 3 spell as soon as possible. Oh. oh wait, oh man, I'm getting confused. <laughs> yeah, so now we can progress with our quest down in Bevel's Underground. What kind of dark secrets is Baralai hiding from us? We must find out. Alright. So, jump up here for the chest. Ooh, four ethers, cool. I'm gonna use one of those ethers right now. Because Riku's MP is good, and she needs her MP. All right, at this intersection, you wanna, okay, pick up this chest first. At this intersection, you wanna take a right. 
and there will be a little okay after this there'll be a little gap here and just have to step on each one of these uh, or yeah just step on one of them <laughs> the middle one and the elevator will appear or a lift as I should call it and we're brought here we can barely see yourself, and you'll find a Garmer Grid in a chest down here. Downtrotter. Let's go take a look at what that does. Where are you, Downtrotter? Okay, equip gra Gravity Eater, and you get some Gravity Strike. Meh, not too impressive. But it's a new Garmer Grid. Alright, so, um, I think we're running out of time because... I've actually cut out a lot of the battles in this episode, but I don't know how long this has been going. So, but we're beginning to be cutting it out right here. And thank you guys for watching once again. We will see you next time on Final Fantasy X-2. Have a good day.